Yo, what's going on everybody? The Stranded of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode number one of my new Pro Team Mode series here. I'm starting up on uh, Tour de France in 2015. And uh, we are ready to get started. So first thing I did was I fixed all of the name uh, glitches or whatever. Not glitches, but you know, the name errors on the rosters as you can see. So I fixed like MTN Quebec, or actually no, they were all set. I fixed Team Europe Car, Team Sky, BMC, um, and I think there were two more teams I had to fix all the names on trek and edics so now we'll have all the uh, actual like rosters and stuff which is great so all right uh let's do new pro team mode we'll do professional difficulty and all right what team do we want to pick so we got to pick a team with cool uniforms and presumably a name that wouldn't sound the worst team focus team v stuff time you phone live there's all the like I don't know why they let you use these. The, the Luxembourg ones are pretty cool. Great Britain. Sinai. Domination of Heroes. I might go with these ones. These are pretty nice uniforms. HFT. We can do Team... H... Whoops. FT. Whatever that stands for. Alright, so we've got the Criterium International. So in this Pro Team mode, there's more than just the Tour de France. You can do the Tour de France, the Criterium International, and the Criterium de Dauphiné. Um, and then basically we have certain objectives and goals and stuff and we, we want to uh, get these done so that uh, we can add better riders to the team as well as uh, you know get a higher budget like usually you can see this prize money for the overall standings and um, I think if we probably won a King of the Mountains jersey we would potentially uh, get a bunch of money or whatever so I'm gonna try and do that probably in the third stage but uh, we'll probably do the first two stages in this episode then do the third one in the next one for the Criterium International. So finish the race, transfers unlock, special bonus, finish in the top 20, and we get an invitation to the Dauphiné. And if we win the race, we get luxury team members and new opponents in the Dauphiné. Alright, so we probably won't win the race, but if we finish in the top 20, that'd be pretty nice. That way we could get to the Dauphiné. So alright, let's, uh, this is just a flat stage though, so this isn't really going to affect too much. This is just trying to finish highly in the stage, or win the stage. Um, and I think we'll go with... Mar Marinier for our primary sprinter, and we can use Parrot as our lead out man. Alright. Alright, so our objective of the stage is to finish in the top 25, which hopefully we will be able to do. Um, we'll just go with the carbohydrate drink and the. I guess we'll go with. Uh, we'll, get, we'll go with energy at the end, make sure that's up. Um. I don't want to see what our uniforms look like. I hope they're not too bad. <laughs> Ooh, I see them. They're, they're alright. They're a little... weird. Hello, everyone. The yellow pants are a little, uh... The first stage. Well, it's gonna look weird if we ever wear the yellow jersey, but whatever. Um, alright, so... I'm not worried about that first category climb, so let's just simulate ahead to the intermediate sprint. And we'll see if we can go over some green jersey points with Marnier. Alright, so we are like 13 kilometers for the sprint, and for some reason, Marnier is hanging at the way back of the pack, like literally at the very end of the peloton. So we're gonna have to really push our way up here. I don't know how we're gonna do it. This is not a very wide road. But this is also not the. Well, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it. Come on. You must constantly try to shelter from the wind. Yeah, I know. I gotta shelter from the wind. I also gotta get to the front, buddy. The head of the race is anyway, I'm so glad I was able to fix all those names before I started this series, though. That was going to bother me if I started it and still didn't have, like, a TJ Van Garderen's right name. <laughs> oh my god. But whatever. There aren't actually too many, uh, like, bad teams. I think out of the, uh, the 25 teams that are in the game, only five of them have players with the wrong names. Or cyclists with the wrong names, so it's not really a big deal. Biking here, come on, Marnier, stay towards the front. As we approach the intermediate sprint, a little reminder of the rules. The first 15 score points. The first will pocket 20 points. All right. So we are about nine kilometers from the sprint here, going pretty slow pace here. Is the peloton, and we can use our carbohydrate drink. The feeding zone is, is right up here. From far out. Looks like MTM Quebec is doing a lot of work, so I wonder if Eddie Bosenhagen is here. I see JJ Rojas. I don't know what other sprinters are going to be here. I think Marcel Kittle's in this race. 
Ronaldo, no Chintini, he's not a sprinter, but still. Seven kilometers or so now. We've got no one in the breakaway today, but I can see the breakaway split up. Manuel Cazado's in there. But yeah, alright, so. The end of the race is five kilometers from the intermediate sprint. Five kilometers, kilometers. They're no doubt ready to Gotta stay at a good position, though. Come on, get up front. Oh my god, there's Parrot, the guy who I want to lead us out, but I can't get around this freaking Astana rider. Oh my god, get out of the way. Like, what are you doing? Five kilometers. Let's stay to the front here. Grab this guy's wheel. We don't even need to take our energy drink, to be honest. We're pretty much at full energy. Three and a half kilometers. Oh, I might actually catch some of the breakaway here. Is that the end? This is the lead out, the initial sprint. Use the high gear ratio when the tempo of the race picks up. The rest of the time, use the small gear ratio so as not to strain yourself. Oh my god, don't get boxed in. Oh my god. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, go. Last time checked with a breakaway. One minute. Okay, well. I'm afraid our sprinter is just not very, uh, not strong enough to keep up with many of these top guys. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer! Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. But alright, we get some points nonetheless. Not too shabby. Ninth, ninth place. Not ninth place! Not too bad. There were, uh, there's only one guy who beat us in the, the breakaway at least. Starting to ride behind but alright. Alright, so we are about 15 kilometers from the finish here. The Peloton has almost caught the breakaway. Once again, Marnier has fallen all the way back to the back of the Peloton. I don't know why he decides to do this. The just makes everyone else's wide. life harder. Or at least my life harder. Not necessarily out. everyone else's. But we'll make our way up nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, we are about 13 kilometers from the finish here. So, our only objective, our only objective is to finish in the top 20, which we should be able to do. I don't think we're going to have a problem doing that, but uh, we will see. Seconds lead for the head of the race. We were definitely not strong enough to keep up with the best sprinters in the initial, in the, or the intermediate sprint or whatever, so we'll see if we fare any better in the actual sprint this time, but we've caught up to the front of the peloton, that wasn't too hard, in about four kilometers. There's one guy out in the breakaway, just ahead of the group, Ten kilometers from the finish it's about the 30 lead. seconds ahead. Going He's going to get caught though, we're following Ten Danny Van Poppel's wheel. The breakaway retains a slim lead over the peloton. us up to the front here. Don't have many teammates around here, but it's alright. No big deal. Whoa. Let's get, um... Pair up to protect us. If he can make his way up here. I think he's like in the middle of the peloton. We'll see if we can get all the way to the front. Probably gonna be pretty hard with the tempo being as high as it is. A little uphole portion here. Light wind back downhill. Into this little town here. This is a nice little town. Ooh, it was, it's like we got a break on. Alright, six kilometers or so. Just staying towards the front if we can. Yes, yes, we gotta know when, we launch, when to launch our sprint. AG2R guys are really pushing hard, so I wonder... I don't know who their sprinter would be. Maybe Sammy DeMoulin. Just five more kilometers. We are heading for a mass sprint. Alright, come on. Keep going. Gotta push all the way to the front here. Oh, jeez. Bad corner. Just give us more energy. Go, go, go. Why aren't you attacking? Why aren't you sprinting? What are you doing? What the hell? Why is he not sprinting? Why is Parrot sprinting and we aren't? Why is he not sprint? Is it because he's taking the energy tablet? That's gotta be it. No, shit. I gotta finish top 20. Oh my god. You better finish top 20 than I'm gonna be. Goddamn pissed.
Alright, we definitely weren't top 10. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, 22nd? My god damn it. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay, we only need to do top 25. Perfect. Then that's fine. Alright, we don't get any money. Oh, we do get combat tip. Oh, nice. Your budget, 100 euros. Alright, and then we'll do the time trial of this race as well, or this episode as well, and then we'll save the mountain stage for the next episode. Alright, so because the overall goal of this race is to finish in the top 20 with someone, we're going to use our best GC guy in this time trial to try and get him in a good position. And I think it's going to be Guidon, who, um, yeah, he's a mountain specialist. Could also go with Kurov, but I think, uh, based on, yeah, Guidon's the better time trialer. He's got better mountain ratings. Could go with Fer this Ferrero's guy, too. He's got slightly worse mountains, better downhill, better time trialer, better on the hills, slightly worse mountain. Alright, well we might be battling for the both of them. The good thing is Ferrari will probably do, since he's the better time trial, we'll take control of Guidon, because um, we will probably be able to do better with him than 818. But alright, let's see it. This is a really short time trial, I think, it's only like 6 kilometers. So we're pretty much just going to be sprinting the entire way. Oh yeah, 6.6 .6 kilometers, so we're just going to be sprinting the entire way. Alright, go Guido. I'm not worried about burning my energy. So our objective is 447 for the first time check. Right hand bend. Alright, now accelerate out of the corner. Come on, Guidon. After the left hand bend, you will come to a rising false flat. Don't push a rising hard. false flat. Don't push it too hard, okay. Slow down a bit. I'm worried that you might have trouble finishing. Alright, yeah, our energy is depleting a little bit. Let's be careful on this uphill part. Oh, I think that's the time jack up there. We gotta be 447 to it. Alright, we're gonna go under that. Good. Go on, that's good! 2.8 kilometers. We are running out of energy, so the energy thing must be sort of timed. There must be sort of like a... Almost to the finish. Save something for the last kilometer with it must be, um... What am I trying to say? Like, I, the, the amount you lose depends on how much, uh... Or, you know, you, I don't know, you guys probably know what I'm saying. Like, there's less of it to go around in a short stage like this. We are about to blow up, though. Let's not do that. 8 kilometers, or 800 meters. Oh my god, don't blow up. No, 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 no. Accelerate, accelerate. Oh my god. No. Go. Oh shoot, go, 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 go. Okay, we're gonna beat 818 at least. Not by much though. Oh my god. Alright, 814. We could have done that way better. But we still beat our the time that we wanted to beat, so that's not a big deal. And we don't, probably won't win the stage, but he'll be up there. Eight seconds, so he's only a 15 seconds behind uh, Meyer here. And I don't know how many of these guys are really GC contenders for this last uh, day. Where did Ferrari finish? 55th, so he's 14 seconds back, so 14 and 15 seconds back. Alright. Cool. Alright, so uh, then the next stage we'll have the mountain stage. Oh, nice. Valois got fifth. Oh, yeah, we could have tried to win the stage with Valois, I feel like. Maybe that would have been a better idea, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe next year. <laughs> but, all right, that is going to do it. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Next stage, we're going to be going for the King of the Mountains with some someone. We'll probably put someone in the breakaway, and then we'll be going over. We'll try to finish in the top 20 with both Ferrara and Guido. So, all right, that's going to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.